How many companies, big corporations, run Korea? Like few. So few. So yeah. a handful, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Okay. Because that means they control everything, and it doesn't give people the opportunity to start their own thing. Yeah. Bec yeah, in America, there's same. There's the same shit. Yeah. Too. There's just a lot of corporations that pretty much own everything. Yeah. But there's still opportunities for small businesses. Yeah. To grow. I know that most Koreans they want to follow a certain path so they can get those jobs for those major corporations because you will be successful then. But for you to start your own startup company, yeah, or your own business, yeah, is such a difficult task. You actually made a really good point. And that's that's what I don't like. I wanted to be an engineer at one point. I wanted to be an engineer because, not, not because it pays well, but because it's just a cool fucking job. I've always thought, like I wanted to invent stuff, I wanted to make stuff. And the plus side, I would get paid well for it. Oh. But here in Korea, I feel like most of it is, oh, I want to be an engineer because I know it's gonna make me a lot of money. Do you remember when you first came to Korea? Mm. You did force me to come out and have fun. Yeah. Right. Mm. And you, when when I when I said I need to edit the videos, mm. you had a kind of judgmental look on me. Oh, this is a crazy work colleague guy. Sort of this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It was like too much. You saw me as capitalist monster back then. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of too much. And then I also would read articles of like <clears throat> people dying at their desk lack of sleep and lack of nutrition because of being forced to work that much at the same time korea wouldn't you know be as far as it is today if it wasn't due to this overworking culture right i mean i'm not trying to romanticize it mm. but i mean it's a good thing because your economy is great but it's a bad thing because it comes at a really big expense yeah which is people's lives that's when i have a problem I think a really big one for me is social status. I've never experienced this anywhere in my life. But when it comes to just meeting a person, automatically this scanning system of where are you on this societal scale? How much money do you make? Well, who do you work for, right? Where did you go to school? Who do you know? And to be honest, I don't like that shit. I don't wanna call this a skill, but I'm pretty good at reading people. Mm. Yeah, I get confused with Korean faces. You can just kind of feel yeah. this, this judgment. How much money you make, or who you work for. Your school? School. Okay, who judge you? Well, they're not going to tell you they're judging you. Who did that? Nobody told me. I want to find a person that <laughs> I'll kill him. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> Unless we're working together, I don't, I, don't, I don't understand why it's important to know. But all the other questions, why do you need to know? Like, for instance, I don't give a fuck how much money you make, where you work, because I just want to make a connection with you. Yeah. And I just want to be friends with you. Yeah. That's it. Like, I don't, there's nothing you can do for me other than just being a good friend to me. Right? That's all I want is just a good friendship. Somebody I can call sometimes when I'm in trouble. Because like talks like this, I would never have with a normal Korean person. I've tried. I've tried. Honestly, I've tried. And it didn't work with, with my students before. But he's young. But they're the future of this. We're, we're still young too. And they're the future of this country. I want to know. Oh, that makes sense. I, I don't want to know how the old generation thinks. No offense. I want to know how the new generation thinks. Why do you care about Korea so much like this? I'm thankful. I wonder why you got to care about Korea this much. I don't know. I, just, I honestly love Korea, man. Is it because it's your girlfriend's country? My fiance's? Yeah. Is that different? Well, okay. To yes. My fiance is Korean. Oh. oh. And her family is not my family, too. And I love her family that I've met. They've been, they've been 
so kind and accepting of me, mm. even though I am I'm not a perfect candidate <laughs> to be Sola's you know, future husband. I want what's best for them, and I want good things to happen to them. And so naturally, I just came to love this country because it is a great country. It just has some things that happen not to like. Yeah. I'm still an outsider here, and I still feel rude. You're not an outsider when you've got a Korean fiance and you're gonna live in Korea. You're gonna get married. But even then still, there will still be a label of outsider. Who put that? What kind of policeman put that kind of thing? You're born in Russia, lived your life in America. Mm. Now you're spending time in Korea, but your time in Korea is so tight. I think you already That's... have a very big ide Korean identity as well. Mm. Maybe you don't realize it. Mm. Maybe. You know what? I really like the term capitalist monster. Mm. I guess... I really like it. Because... I kind of take it as a compliment. Mm. And I don't even look back on the time that I spent. Mm. I have no regrets. So happy about it. Still want more money to support mm. family mm. and stuff. But this is something I'm very proud of. Mm. And being called capitalist monster, it mm. feels like... You're on your way. <laughs> to me, that, that's just that's okay. the important part. If and you're a capitalist monster with a dream, mm. your dream, not your parents' dream or mm. your... There's something... I respect that. Something I'm really hesitant to, mm. to share to people, the way I relax. Mm. I don't think many people would embrace what I feel because I'm already living a really different lifestyle from all the other normal Korean people. Mm. I don't get relaxed when I... When I'm laid, laid in, in the bed, mm. when I'm just like laid back and taking rest, mm. that terrifies me. Mm. Time with my girlfriend mm. or having a chat with you, this kind of thing, is the only type of rest that I can take. Mm. Because there's a clear thing that I need to do for myself, mm. so how can I feel good on, on the bed? Mm. That's a life of a person who would go to company mm. to work for some determined stuff, mm. but not for me. If I have my merch, my mm. first First t-shirt is gonna be capitalist monster. <laughs> and the thing is like I respect that a lot. I think it's fucking badass. Sometimes it's important to talk about things like this. Is there anything else you have? Any other questions? No, no. Oh this is this that was a book. I can write a book with this footage. <laughs> I want half the money. It told all of <laughs> fucking capitalist monster. <laughs>